In this video, we're going to see how to use a mesh stick radio to power using a relay, a LID. Following my previous video on the sensor detection capabilities, I decided to share a new experiment using a mesh tastic radio and a relay. My aim is to build a budget friendly remote control switch that works over long distances. Since it doesn't require cellular or internet connectivity, there are no monthly fee and it's really cheap then. A relay is an electric operating switch that uses electromagnet to mechanically control an electrical circuit. I will let you dig more on YouTube if you want to see how they works in particular this cheap generic one. While I'm demonstrating a specific relay in the video, please exercise this with caution. I wouldn't feel comfortable using this setup to control power cords. It's best to start with simple 5 to 12 volt applications. For higher voltage, use relays that are properly rated according to your country's regulation and not cheap alternatives from the internet. I'm curious about your plan application, so please share them in the comment and stay tuned. Please excuse my wiring setup. From left to right, I have a LTEC V3 connected to a generic relay. Using 3.3 volt to power a LED strip coming from a LED light bulb. On the right side, you will find the sender, which is Liligo T3. I'm assuming you're already using a private channel, as shown in the previous video. If not, please watch that one first. I didn't show in this video, but you need to wire the 5 volt the ground and the relay GPIO pin to the pin 7 here in my setup. You will need to wire the relay control NO which means normally open and NC normally closed. As you will notice, I've used normally closed since the LID stays off until a message is received. In the Mestastic application, navigate to the radio wired to the relay and activate the external notification in the module configuration section. I have toggle enabled alert when receiving a bell, alert when receiving a message, then scroll down to advanced GPIO option. I have toggle active, meaning here, if enabled, the output pin will be pulled active high, disable mean active low. So here we want to have this for the relay. And output pin GPIO, so I have set 7, that's the GPIO port I'm matching to connect the relay. And finally, set the GPIO output duration. Here in my example, I set it to 3 seconds, which means my LID will light up for 3 seconds whenever it receives a message or notification. Here for the example, I have connected the Liligo T3 to a computer. And I'm going to hit enter. So now I'm sending a message. And as you can see, the LED was blinking for three seconds. And at the same time, you've heard like the magnet in the relay. I put again, as I know, I have bit background noise at home, but you will see and hear once again. That's it for this video. I hope this gives you some ideas for remote switching solutions. 
Let me know what you have achieved and stay tuned.